So earlier in the week, I released a video where I provided an essential guide to Portland, what you can expect from different parts of the city, and also how much it costs to purchase a house. Now, as mentioned in that video, the median purchase price for a single family home in Portland is approximately 600,000. And this is significantly less than other major West Coast cities, including Seattle, LA and the San Francisco Bay Area. In today's video, I will show you two very affordable neighborhoods. I'll show some of the amenities and reasons why you may want to consider to move into these areas. So stay tuned. So the first neighborhood we will be touring is called Lentz and it's located in southeast Portland. On the corner of southeast Foster Road and southeast 92nd Avenue you will find several cafes, restaurants and places to grab a drink. If you're looking for a place to grab a coffee then you can't go wrong with Bella's Italian Bakery and Market. Across the street, you've also got Humdinger Pizza Company and also the Eagle Eye Tavern. There's also a Planet Fitness, a yoga studio and a couple of other stores, along with Zoichhaus Brewing Company, which is a German brewing company serving traditional German food, and they also host farmers markets on Sundays. Now, in the north of Lentz, you also have the Eastport Plaza Shopping Center, which has several stores, food and dining options, an LA Fitness, and also a Cinemark movie theater. Now, one of the reasons that makes Lentz fairly appealing is the Lentz Park, which is a 38-acre park, which dates back to 1914. Now, this park also has a soccer pitch, several baseball fields, including a baseball stadium where the Portland Pickles play. So what type of properties can you expect to find in Lentz? Well, to be honest, it's a large mix. You'll find lots of single family homes, mostly a little smaller than the city average, and many that are on a single story. In terms of how much you can expect to pay for a single family home here, well, taking a look at what is currently available, you will notice that there are several homes currently listed between 350,000 and 429,000. And this is significantly lower than Portland's median home price of $600,000. Before we move on to our second neighborhood, if you're enjoying this video, please do consider giving it that thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my channel. It really helps out my channel and motivates me to keep producing content. Okay, let's move on to the second neighborhood. So the second neighborhood I want to show to you is St. John's and this is in North Portland. North Portland is surrounded by rivers. You have the Willamette River to the south and to the west, and then the Columbia River to the north. So this is a neighborhood that used to house a lot of the dock workers. So with that in mind, you will see that houses in this neighborhood tend to be on the smaller side, typically around 800 to 1200 square feet, but some are much smaller. Cathedral Park is a landmark park in St. John's and houses the spectacular St. John's Bridge, which takes you over the river into northwest Portland. There's a second larger park in St. John's. The Pier Park is an 85-acre park and includes baseball fields, basketball courts, a soccer field, tennis courts, picnic areas, disc golf, and several paved paths. There is also an outdoor lap pool in the south corner of the park which is open to the public during the summer months. Lombard Street is the main commercial street that goes through St. John's and here you will find plenty of small stores and places to eat. And it's a really charming little neighborhood with cute stores. I filmed this on a Sunday morning and you will notice that there are several people out for a walk or grabbing a coffee. So how much does it cost to purchase a single family home in St. John's? 
Well, there's actually quite a lot available. Again, looking at the map, you'll see the majority of your homes are between $375,000 to $500,000. There are free homes here in the north part of St. John's that are right next to Pier Park, which is what I showed you earlier. This cute two bedroom, one bar from home on Hudson Street is under $400,000, but it is small at just 784 square feet. So those were two cute neighborhoods with some good character, great amenities, and several homes available for well under the median Portland home price. So I hope you found this video useful and it's given you some great ideas on what's available in Portland and what neighborhood might be right for you. Now, please do remember, I am a licensed real estate broker in the states of Oregon and Washington, so feel free to reach out to me if I can help you find your perfect neighborhood. Until next time, thanks for watching.